it's Dana. All right, I can see my audio is on. I had a little my little thing on. Sorry about the last video just now. I deleted it. Um, got a few things at Hobby Lobby today. I wanted to share. Some are super fun, and some are just you know so so. Depending on what you do, uh, what you buy at Hobby Lobby. I found some heavy duty staples. These are good for if you take your canvas off to stretch it and want to restaple it. I found these mirror stickers. I thought it would be cool to add to kind of an art deco-y canvas um, in the paint. And, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. The staples are 79 cents a box. The mirrors were fi originally $5. They were $1.24. I found these Strathmore watercolor postcards, which I thought were pretty cool. I've got a few friends that like to paint. And I thought that would really be fun to paint a custom postcard and mailed it off. These are normally $6.99. They were $1.74 today. There's 15 in a pack. All the uh all the bags, the art bags were on sale. The art bin one is normally $39. Today it was $9.99. I also got a really large speedball one for Thad that's $79 normally and I found it for $17 for him to carry his um, blueprints in. I found these tiny Velcro clear buttons. I think these will be great for when you make homemade envelopes. I really like homemade envelopes. And these were on sale for 99 cents. You get 56 of them, of the little circles. I also found these Strathmore watercolor cards. There's 10 in a box. Normally these are eight bucks. They were on sale for $1.99 for the envelopes, the cards and the envelopes. So I thought that was cool. I think those are what? A4 size. Then I found um, these paint. I found journals too. Let me set that aside. Hey, Lizzie, welcome back. I found these paint pots and I thought this was a good deal because normally we pay a couple bucks for these little two ounce jars. And I'm assuming each one of these have about one ounce in them because they're not that big. But you get a lot of colors and normally it's three nine or $13.99. And I Found up these, so I bought a couple of them. One for me and one for my son. I also bought this. Um, I know not everybody goes into the art section and maybe uses some of the larger or different papers, um, but I know a lot of crafters will like this. This is a tracing pad, and I actually quickly used it to make an envelope. Now it looks like a vellum envelope when you when you just cut it down and, and turn it into an envelope, but, and then you can put your Velcro closure on it. <laughs> so, but I really like, and it doesn't look that different from one of the glass scene ones. And I'll show you one of the glass scene ones here. I have these, um, you know, I'm always saving, um, stuff out of my yard, drawing flowers and stuff. And, putting them on wax paper, Mod Podging, but this is one of the glassine envelopes I originally started using, and it is quite sturdy compared to the tracing paper ones, but I think they still look like glassine a little bit, and it's much cheaper if you buy a pad of tracing paper and make these envelopes with. So, um, again, you get 50 sheets, and normally this, this is an 11 by 14 pad. Normally, it's $13 for this pad, and they have it right now for $3.24. So even if you think you won't use tracing paper, it's really fun to make these envelopes with and a lot cheaper than the glass scene. Also, I found mixed media art paper. There's only 60 pages in here, but it is, um, it's very heavy duty and it's good for all your mediums, whether you're using pencil, colored pencil, pen and ink, charcoal, pastels, markers, watercolors, acrylic, or oil, it says on there. So it's um, also perforated here so that when you get done, if you want to tear it out and frame it, you can, or you can leave it in the book. It's got some nice thick covers to protect your artwork. So um, that's, a, that's a good deal. Oops, I forgot the price. Normally it's $16.99, and this was $4.07 today. Also, I got a great, I got a few great big pads that I'm not going to show. One is watercolor. 
I got like a $27 watercolor pad for, I think like five or six bucks about that. This is Bristol paper. If you don't know what Bristol paper is, this is really good for your dry mediums. It doesn't have any what they call tooth on it. So like the texture that you see on watercolor paper, that's what they, that's the tooth that kind of grabs a hold of the paint. But this is very, very smooth paper. So this is really good for like your chalks and your charcoals and things like that. This actually has what they call a vellum surface or almost a plat, like a plasticized coating. Each piece is very, very thick. Um, very thick. So you can use these scraps. Now you might say, I don't need anything that big, but honestly, I mean, you only get 20 sheets of this, but if you cut this down crossways, you can almost have 80 sheets of papers, a little bit smaller than eight and a half by 11, you know, a standard size. So that's a really good price for $5 and 37 cents. And since for Christmas, that's what I got. I got that cutter. That's supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be self-sharpening. So I'm just going to cut down some of that paper. Okay. Um, what else did I find? These are weird. I've never seen these before. These weren't even in the art artsy like section. These were in the teacher's section, but I thought they were super cute and you get like all these different designs. So I'm going to just open one and kind of check it out and just review it real quick. Okay, it says here you get nine designs. There's 36 pieces, and normally this is $4, but they were on sale for 99 cents. And you know what? These are not, these are not thin. These are pretty thick. They're almost like, you know, cardstock, and they're laminated on top. So kind of cool. They could be used, certainly be used for ephemera in journals or on um, cards or anything. <laughs> Lobster. I'm going to use this in my cookbook. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. There's a uh, octopus, starfish. What is that? I don't know what kind of fish that is, but it's some kind of tropical fish. So those are kind of cool. So I thought for 99 cents, I would check them out. So I got one of each and this one has barnyard animals in it. Uh, each one has 36 pieces. This has one, two, three, four, six different butterflies. And this one has woodland animals. Look how cute they are. Oops. Get to where it's not glaring. Aren't they cute? Um, so far, so good, Lizzie. That cutter, I started cutting cardboard with it. And honestly, um, it has not had a chance to get dull because I haven't cut a whole lot of cardboard. This is kind of the main event of this haul, and I apologize. I already opened one of these um, journals. You know I'm a journal girl. I cannot not journal. Um, I write everything down. I have a journal that I write stories in, a journey a journal that I write my complaints in. I have a gratitude journal. I have a planner journal. I have a journal that I just write all my happy thoughts in so that when, you know, if I need to perk up. I can flip through. I have a quote journal. I have a money journal. I have a budgeting journal that it's probably, yeah, I should never even try, but I'm such a journal person. And so <laughs> I, um, I thought this was cool. This was $11.99. It's what they call a visual mixed media journal. But what I like about it is it has this beautiful cotton paper in it with a vellum finish. So this paper is so, so thick. I love this paper. You could do almost anything on this side. It's got a little texture to it. And on, on the back side, it seems a little bit smoother, like it's one-sided, but I'm not 100% sure about that because it doesn't say, but here it says you can use graphite pencil, pen and ink, colored pencil, charcoal, marker, soft pastels, oil pastels, watercolor, acrylics or do collage. So like, what can't you do with this? I'm not sure. All right. Then I found this, um, this, I don't know what's in here. I think I'm going to put this in my giveaway because I'm almost at 300 subscribers. This is from, oh, this is an agenda 52 from the paper studio. Normally it's nine 99 and it was on sale for $2 and 49. You guys honestly know 
that we would probably pay that for some of these little tassels because they're so cute. Oh, look. Oh, it's lined with pink lines. Okay, so this is a great starter starter journal. I don't particularly like lined paper for myself, but sometimes I do stick lined paper inside my journal. Um, and with my some journals, like my everyday, you know, stuff that I want to... Uh, this is weird, but... I write stuff in journals to remind me to write in my other journals. I know that's so stupid, but that's how I keep track of my days. And then later I'll go through those notes and put them in the individual journals. So I found this. I thought this was really cool. This is called a sketchbook. Normally it's 20 bucks, 20 bucks for this little book, but it was $4.99 today. Now I never buy these journals at Hobby Lobby because they're so expensive and I've never seen them on sale. So I'm really anxious to kind of review this and see what I think. So here goes nothing. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. So this paper, you couldn't use a marker on. This is very, very soft textured paper. It would roll up if it got colored on, it would start to peel up and you probably can't really erase very good on it either. This says it's genuine leather handcrafted from Indian Buffalo by artisans employed in traditional craft. The leather is hand tanned in the villages of India using primitive techniques and the paper inside is handmade and eco-friendly. So it's not deckled edge, it is cut, but wouldn't that be nice if they had put deckled edge paper in here, but you can see that each signature is sewn in with this brown cording. It's not waxed thread, but it is pretty thick. And there's six signatures in this book and it is a really lovely book. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for. It says it's a sketchbook, I guess with pencil, you could sketch in there. Um, Okay, so the next sketchbook I found was normally $14.99. And this one's on sale for $3.24. I really liked the cover of this also. I think this is probably faux leather. Let me see if it says. It doesn't say on here. Let me see if there's anything inside. You know what? That might even be like a plasticized. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that's made of. It doesn't say. This is the same handmade paper, um, but this is actually bound in with glue. So you can see, let me see if I can hold this up. You can see each page is bound in with glue. So again, not something that you could use marker or anything on. This is actually just a cute cover. I don't know how very useful this would be. Um, I might put that in my giveaway. Not sure. I'm going to put the bags with them just so that in case. Yeah. I'm going to put this all back together like in the event that I want to give it away. I'd like to, I'd like it to not look used. <laughs> um. I found this one. I just bought this one because I thought this one was really pretty on the cover. And I may deconstruct this cover and use it for something else. This is another one of those um, $20 journals like the first one. This also says the same thing about the Indian buffalo leather. Uh, it's also made in India with handmade paper. Again, not deckled edge, but each signature is sewed in with the same thread. Looks like a cotton thread. It is not waxed. But I really think the cover of this is pretty. And it is real leather. You can see the nap on the leather. And the um, looks like the cording detail on the edge is real leather also. Isn't that pretty? I thought that was so pretty just for writing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? You'd be have, to, you'd have to be careful with your pen because a felt tip pen may not be so good on this handmade paper, but, um, you never know, you know, it depends on what kind of, what kind of pens you like to use. All right. So I found this also called a sketchbook, 1699 for this little thing. 
but it was on sale for four bucks. Well, four twenty-four. So I bought it. So we're going to see what this is doing in here. This is a glue, glue in. And okay. So I like that this is the way this is sewn in that it will probably lay fairly flat while you write. Um, the pages are really soft. This is again, is the handmade paper. It's a little bit smoother than the other ones. Uh, this is glue in a glue in binding, but it is really pretty and it feels like the faux leather. So it, and it doesn't say it's real leather. So I am assuming this is a faux leather again, not great for a sketchbook. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they call it a sketchbook, but, but it would be a great diary or, or a little journal. This teeny tiny one is genuine leather. It's normally $8.99 and also has, well, you know what? It's got a little elastic. Let's look at the cover. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So that's tooled leather. That's a really pretty cover, actually. That would be nice for in your purse. Okay, so they've put some strings. They've sewn some strings on the outside to make it look like there's three sewn-in signatures, but it's actually glued in. Um, and again, it's that cotton-feeling handmade paper, which is not great for sketching. Um, it does have a lot of tooth to it, so I guess if you were like using chalks or, or charcoals, that would be that would be okay. But that's a lovely little book. And that was $2.24. Also has the genuine leather uh, note in it. Then I found a horizontal shaped one. This is by the Master's Touch. Um, this is normally $14.99 on sale for $3.79. I like that this one has the elastic closure and it's got like the little bookie mark thing. I like that. And I like this paper. This is more my speed for a sketchbook. Um, this is almost like a, um, it's not a watercolor paper and it's not a Bristol paper. It's more like a, um, it's got a cottony feel to it. So I doubt you could watercolor on it. I guess you could put gesso on it, but this would be a good collage book or for drawing with any of your drawing media. I'm sure I will keep that. Then I got these. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I got these to put inside my existing journals. Now, normally I pay, well, I don't pay that, but normally they're $10 um, for these sketchbooks and they were $2.49. Now, normally I buy mine at Michael's because I like to choose if I have plain. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Grandma Joe. I like to choose if I have plain paper or if I have lined paper or if I have bullet paper. Um, depending on what journal I'm working with is what type of paper I want. Um, so I really like this is craft. What is this? Oh, this is also craft. Oh, this is really smooth. Okay, this is, feels like Bristol paper, but it's much thinner, but it's gray. So I like that. And, oh, I like the black. Are you kidding me? Well, I just moved all this stuff in. And apparently, I'm still rather disordered. So, let's move on. So, this is a good deal because this was $2.49 for all three books, which are normally $10. Bucks, and I got a bunch of them. So, for the price that I would pay for one four-pack, I actually got three, six, nine, 12 books. And then... Um, Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it. All right, ladies. Thanks for coming. Bye.